Hey everyone, I picked up a Nest uh, third generation learning smart thermostat. Um, you can operate it through your Wi-Fi and control it remotely from anywhere in the world with your smartphone, tablet, or computer. Um, it's supposed to learn your habits and help you save some money. There's also a cool factor to it with the display, um, but this is what the back looks like. So I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of how I'm going to install this. All right. So, so the first thing uh, I did was go to the, my circuit breaker box and turn off the power to the heating and cooling system. So this display is still on because it's battery operated, but what I've done is the temperature is 66 and I've turned it to 72 and I've verified that uh, the heat is not turning on. So we should be good. Most of these things just snap right off. And these are the wires that we'll be dealing with. As an extra precaution, you can check if there's a, a electricity running through these wires with like one of these little devices. So this is like a Klein Tools non-contact voltage tester. Um, the red one is the hot wire and you can see there's nothing. So if the if the if I didn't turn off the power downstairs, this this would indicate voltage. So we're good in that regard. So, so Nest actually gives you some stickers inside the packaging so we can open it up for you to label these wires for future purposes. You don't really need to if you know what you're doing, but uh, just for like uh, complete list, let me just do that real quick and I'll be right back once I'm done. So now that I've labeled each wire, I'm gonna take off, remove my old thermostat base. And if you don't know, um, if your system is compatible with Nest, go on their website and they'll, they'll let you know. So they basically ask you what kind of wires you have in your existing system and they'll let you know if it's compatible with the Nest or not. So I'm just gonna unscrew this so that I can attach this, um, set up the new Nest. So as you can see, I removed mine and there's like a section that is not painted. So putting this here would expose that flaw. So what I can do is I can use this included plastic thing and uh, plate and hopefully it covers most of it and it looks like it should. Um, also for those of you who attach it to like some uh, electrical box or firebox or whatever, they give you this metal plate as well uh, to hook it up that way. But for me, I'm going to use this plate and it should be relatively easy. So just put everything through. that put it through. So get all the wires across. So all right, so now that the base is on and this is on, you can see that it's leveled. So that's a pretty neat feature of this nesting. You can see if it's leveled or not. So it's leveled, so all we have to do is plug in the wire. So uh, white goes into W, green goes into G, yellow goes into Y, Y1. There's Y1 and Y2, but it goes into Y1. And the red goes into the RC. This is for my setup. So like, like I said earlier, go into the Nest website and they'll tell you how to wire it up based on your current uh, configuration. So let me just go ahead and plug everything in. So you just push the tab and you can plug it, plug it in. And it holds it tight for you. And you just do the same for the rest of these. Just like that. So everything is plugged in. You just want to tuck everything in as neatly as you can. And then this is the face of the nest. This is the only adapter really. So you just try to line it up and push it in. It snaps into place and you're good to go. There it is. Turn your power back on and um, connect it to your Wi-Fi and you should be good to go. So let me go ahead and do that and uh, I'll be right back. Oh, 
So I've gone through the setup of my internet, my location, and the physical location of this uh, nest unit because we have a two zone uh, heating cooling uh, set up here. So I, I told it to record this as the upstairs. And now you can see it's detected the wires that I've plugged in. So this, this should reflect exactly what you've done earlier. And if not, there's a problem. But um, yeah, and then you just hit continue. So it confirms heating, cooling, fan, gas, forced air, setup steps, temperature. Should nest begin by heating or cooling your home? So it, it asks you a whole bunch of other questions and you know, I don't want to bore you through this video, but I'll go through this, but you just answer the questions and you should be fine.